Hey everyone, Zave here and welcome to Max Mastered Overview. We are coming in hot with my preferred genre for VR stuff. <laughs> in terms of the official titles, I feel like I've played every single one at this point. It's my specialty since the beginning. I know what's up and what to look forward to in a successful release of that kind. So Max Mastered is an adventure platformer game where as a young inventor in a place called Crunch we're gonna be rebelling against the mechanical workforce and search for lost creatures that are gonna be sold up by an evil businessman that has no limits. Interestingly enough, neither the title nor the trailer comes across if the game has interesting storyline or not, which sometimes is the key to success. Across all the platformers so far, the most memorable or even only is most to me. The rest kinda falls flat with the writing and sometimes uneventful finishes. Art style and mechanics very similar to Lucky Style, not necessarily copied but it's those cartoony fantasy worlds with cutesy assets and not much violence around. It seems like we have some interactivity between the player and the hero. Probably something a la Van VR Adventure although it seems a bit upgraded. Visually it might be a bit busy but it's better to design environments like that rather than having linear pathways and solutions to the levels. I will most likely play it all the way eventually because it's just my thing here. It's just that I don't see the initial connection with the character and the whole backstory. Like, it kinda seems disconnected to me. But other than that, from first impressions, it should be rather solid. And the gameplay is all that matters here. Let's go meet Max. I hope and faster. <laughs> it should be like higher. Hold me. I mean, they're just stuck in his tentacles. <laughs> what the? I mean, I don't understand why it was so reduced. Um, okay, here we are, I suppose. Oh, the perspective is much closer. Very much how when VR should have started. Uh, that would be nice to do a high five in air. So the resolution in the distance isn't crazy. It's not like offensive. But for platformers it needs to be like way better. But the environment itself is good enough. What? There was like a blockade, or am I crazy? There's no attacking yet. I have HP on the controllers, that's good. 
I know what that is. Oh, he has some wall mechanics as well. Okay, well, I'm not gonna collect everything as possible. What is that? I didn't really give you a lot of time. Oh, I can trip it? it? Nice. <laughs> I'm an idiot. So it's like situational storyline. There are no dialogues, no anything really. <laughs> I swear that made sense to me. And what do you think you're doing? Distraction! I guess it would be too easy that I could destroy all the blocks. Can I go back though? That's the question. I mean, yes, but I need to also turn around. Nothing with the controller, which is halfway there in terms of the locomotion, whatever. <laughs> It's the precision type of thing. So I still don't know what those coins really do. Normally it's about HP. Oh, 
climb in his bus. Ah, okay. So it's just text, okay. I mean, there's not much else to do, I guess. We'll have... A bunch of levels and then a boss, but this is the first arc, so there's way more. I wonder about the length of every single one. This I started to see more frequently like buying or working for the basic features. <laughs> Isn't that weird? Am I alone here? Like this I understand, but... Camera locomotion? I don't know if I like the soundtrack. It's very much for kids. Like it's too innocent or whatever. Borderline softer than Lucky Cell. <laughs> Don't touch me. the new feature. <laughs> Can I kill them? Oh my god, turn the right again. I don't really get the situation that I'm starting with the lowest HP and then progressively I got more. Like why not from the jump, full one? Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Ah. 
Okay, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I know there's a platform. <laughs> I'm just challenging the game. There's like a cooldown, okay. But that makes things so much easier. And this is the first official level. You just fly across the stage. It would be nice to have a gouge of how much is left. Or maybe like a rechargeable. Things like that would not fly in other platformer games. Or any in general. like mother children situation <laughs> okay i think i've seen enough in terms of the story or like curiosity about what's going on it's kind of bare bones to me honestly lucky had more things going on but here's just letters if you want to read not necessarily for me Mechanics wise, it's okay, like there are some interesting stuff going on, but also this game is very, very easy. So I wouldn't say this is something for connoisseurs of the genre, but more to people who kind of want to jumpstart their adventures. I definitely did not like the soundtrack used at least in this stage specifically, simply because it reads as a stock music that you got on the internet, so nothing really unique. The resolution is kind of low, but not garbage, considering the game for some reason opts for shadows, so that definitely takes a toll. Overall, I think it's cute. Is it something for me? I don't know, cause at least in Lucky, I was like invested in what's going on. But here it's more like a fun adventure, jumping around and collecting coins and those creatures. But other than that, there's not much else going on. I might be just picky because I'm just into that genre. 